So, um, basically this is Isabella Gullart, and I'm going to do a Coral, paint, uh, Coral Painter 11 um, um, version of just exactly how creative I get. Um, she's a Victoria's Secret model, and these are some of the things that I can do. Basically, you can grab, um, once you've selected this, these are um, grabbing motions, like this would select a square, this would select a circle, this is freehand selection, and this is actually my very favorite. This is the one I use the very most. And when you double click, it's it goes in a straight line to where you started. And this typically is what I use to um, create um, backgrounds. Or slice, or cut, or select. And I delicately go along the edge of her body. Um, it's really a respect thing more than anything else. I actually, every time I do any painting, it's, it's, it's really um, my honor more than anything. So I try to take it as seriously as the photograph, as the photographer would take it in giving time to make um, a model seem beautiful. So I try to take as much respect into the concept that the picture was taken in and of itself in the first place and really improve it um, with respect, not necessarily with any sort of like um, like um, self um, self-fulfilling purposes. I just try to, I mean, I consider life in general is like giving gifts so it's really just something that I would like to share more than anything else anyways now that she's selected or now that her background is selected you can do virtually most anything now um, the like I said before in some of the typings that I've wrote is you can go into the effects which is um, right here and you can you can apply surface texture which is what I use the most and it's automatically set to paper but there's also 3D brush strokes, image luminescence, and original luminescence. I like paper a lot. Um, it's already preset to my favorite, um, but you can always change it and warp it around. But the original texture has just this um, certain illusion behind it that gives a lot of um, attractive effects. So I'll just demonstrate what the end outcome is. And that's what it is. And it's there's just something very um, incredible about it. Anyway, so that's part of it, and then I um, basically work along her t torso. And like I said, I really try to just magnify the fact that she's incredibly beautiful in the first place with my own personal um, view on how. Um, I can actually enhance what's already really tremendous in the first place. And you go back around and double click. It selects it. You go to effects. The cool thing about Coral Painter is that it actually remembers your um, last two selections. It holds them at the top. You don't have to go to these selections. Once you've once you've done something a moment ago, it holds on to it as a recent application. Anyway, so it's already set, and you just click on it. It's already set for what you did it a second ago, and you just click on it again. And it's really pretty much that fast. So once you really get going on it and you know what you're doing, you can sometimes just really flow through um, a lot of paintings once you know what you're doing. Um, so... This is just one example. Obviously, I've spent a lot more time on some other corals, but this is just how I'm doing this one. If I double click right here, since the other side is already set, it'll actually go in a very straight line right over, just like that, which is kind of cool. Anyways, the same thing. 
and now it's just all set. You just double click and it deselects. And then now it looks like she's um, set apart from kind of like a sandpaper type of background or cement or however you choose to view it. And if I want to, I can even do a lot other a lot um, a lot of other things to it if I chose to. Um, I wasn't thinking about it when I was talking. I was actually just trying to show off what um, what some of the surface textures were, but there's other surface textures like that I can show you if you want um, like for instance if some of the things that you all don't know what I do that I can do is um, I can apply lighting it's sort of a secret effect that you have to kind of know what you're doing but this you can actually give color to something. A lot of people think that you have to use brush strokes, but you can give color to something by using lighting alone. So um, it already gives you one. Some of them, and they're all they're all pre-selected down here. Coral gives you a pretty good, decent start with the first one. But if you click on it, you can give it a second light, and a third light, and a fourth light, and you can get really, really, really bright. Not necessarily that you want to at all, which typically I never do because it makes it blank white just as you see right there so if I click OK it does that so you go undo which is always effective it's an edit and it's always the top selection you go back to apply lighting and it's already preset with one again doesn't start with five and you can move it around plus if you see dark areas if you don't want dark areas you can adjust the spread and it sort of goes over to that area so you don't always have to apply more light you can just adjust the spread also you can adjust the exposure so it gets lighter or darker anyways the coolest part that a lot of people might not know about is the fact that you can change the light color so you can go right to pink and so you have to go a, a step further than just clicking on here you have to actually select a shade of that color so if you want it to be pink then you would select pink and then now that light changes to a pink color and now you just instead of using brush strokes using lighting alone can virtually change anything and you can adjust the brightness so um, and I'll actually show you something even better in a moment now that it's pink a lot of things that you might not know about is um, you can actually take it one step further and go to um, adjust colors a lot of people don't know about this step this is sort of a secret but you can change it a second time after you've already changed it a first time under value and now that it has color a lot of times you can't adjust color based on no color under the hue shift but once it has color you can change this to virtually any color you want right here so once you give something color it keeps color and then with coral you can actually change it to virtually all colors depending on what you feel like is best in your view for the picture um, on based on your own interpretation so now that you know about that so many things open up it's actually a pretty nice shade and then once you've actually pick, picked a shade that you like you can always change the saturation or you can change the value not saturation this is saturation and the value is the is the tint sort of I guess anyways Pink is nice though, um, so we'll just leave it at pink because it actually started out pretty nice. Um, and another thing that you can do if you want to, since it's still selected, you can go to copy, you could go to paste, and do something like that. You can go to f um, flip. So now it's a direct match from that side. 
and something even crazier that you can do if you want. Well, and then once it's once it's deselected, if you want to like select it again, well, it stays movable. Plus, now you have that layer down here. And if you want it to disappear, you can turn it off in case it's bothering you. It's still there. It's just invisible because these are eye eyes, and you just make the eyelid go down. And um. Also, what I wanted to show you was, um, I wanted to show you, how do you pull it? Sometimes I do things one time and I forget how I did them. Um, let's just do this. Let's do, oh, this is what I was going to do. Do you want to see something crazy? Okay, now that that's selected, this is crazy. You go to free transform, <laughs> and you can pull that fucker down. I'm not kidding. Wait. <laughs> so it starts out perfect and you can like drag it and then you press this to deselect it then it looks like that and you can press this and it'll select it again. So that's something you can have fun with. A lot of times in Coral, if you want to accomplish anything, some of your best friends is um some of your best friends is copy, paste, and free transform. And when all else fails you can press this little icon some people don't know about it and it'll reselect it and then when all else fails you can always do um, undo 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 I actually learned that there's a limit on undo it's about um, like it stops after about 15 to 20 or something like that so you don't have unlimited it actually has a stopping point anyways so um usually on every single painting that i do i learn maybe one new thing um, i teach myself while i do it i never took a course so every new every painting that i do i actually like realize something new slowly like I don't know what this does. I have no idea what this is. This is. I've never used this. 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 I literally make everything not knowing how to use this program. <laughs> I've never used movie. I've never used shapes. I've never used select. I, I'm honest. I swear to God. And I've only used layers. I use like five buttons here, this, and th these down here, and I've never even touched that. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs>